Hey everyone, welcome back to the Busted Grill Garage. We've got the gutless cutlass back in the shop finally, and we're gonna be installing some upper door sails and some, uh, some chrome moldings back on here. I'm gonna walk you guys through how to do that. Let's jump over to the workbench here. I'll kind of show you how, it, uh, how it's laid out and how it has to go back together before we jump over onto the car. So uh, I'm gonna get you guys over there and we're gonna get this done. So if we come over here to the passenger side, we've already got it done. You see chrome molding there. We've got our drip rail cover, and then of course our A-pillar molding. And then we have our uh, weather stripping that seals the door, or that seals the window rather when the window's up. So we come over here and we have all of these uh, pieces here and these do have to come back together in a pretty specific order. So our chrome moldings, that show are going to be the first things we have to put on these things here and it goes a pillar our drip rail cover and then our b pillar molding here and then from there we'll install our channel for the uh for the weather stripping on the drip rail the a pillar and the b pillar and then from there we can go into attaching our weather stripping all right so as far as tools go not going to need anything more than a Phillips head screwdriver. Maybe yours is a little less crooked than mine, but hey, mine still works. Don't knock it too hard. So we've got to roll this up over the edge here. And then our screw holes right here, right here, and right here are already lined up. Now, if you were smart, you would, uh, you know, keep a hold of your screws and label them and you know, make sure you have the same screws going back in that you that you took out. But we didn't do that. We suck. So I've just went to my local parts store and have picked up a couple of assorted packages of trim screws in the uh, in the help section. So we're able to get our screws here. We're going to get fixed up. Now, this does not show when everything is assembled, so there's no need for a stainless trim screw here. And in fact, the only stainless trim screw we need goes on last, or near last. Now when it comes to your drip rail covers, uh, super simple stuff. All they do is just kind of pop into place. But you want to be sure, see how this end is just uh, just flat? Well, you flip it over and this end's got a radius to it. And that radius, you want it facing towards the rear of the car. So you make sure that's happening and you won't get your driver's side and passenger side mixed up. Now when it comes to your B-pillar moldings, it's kind of just the same situation as what your A-pillar moldings were, just got a couple of screws. The only difference being, with your B-pillar molding, this screw right here is going to be exposed when all of our weather stripping is installed. So it either needs to be stainless or whatever you want it to look like, because it's going to be seen. Now the next portion of this little project is going to be installing our little channels that these uh, weather stripping pieces will uh, 
fit into and you see how this is made kind of grooved kind of like a channel well anyway the uh, weather stripping <clears throat> is made just the same way it's got a groove there and it's got a groove there so we're gonna get these channels installed right quick pretty well the same process as what we already did just kind of repeating it with a few more screw holes and then after that, we're gonna work on getting this weather stripping in place. installing the weather stripping okay so with this weather stripping it's a pretty straightforward thing we've just got a couple screw holes right here and then a couple more on the opposite end now you can tell just by the way this is laid out here and kind of formed on its own this right here will be our a pillar this will go along our drip rail and then this will be our b pillar weather stripping and uh, like i said earlier there's just this little there's this channel right here that's going to pop into our channel in our that's fastened on the car already there's a channel right here it's going to do the same thing so once we get this locked in it can be a little bit tedious but once we get it popped into place and those screws attached on each end we'll be finished so i'm going to start right here at the b pillar and you're going to notice right off the bat when you go to do this that this back groove it just kind of pops into place pretty easy that's only half the battle though, this little lip that's sticking out right here, we've got to get it in behind this right here. So what you want to do, make sure your two screw holes line up, looks like I need to come down a little bit, right about there, Then we're going to start working this lip and getting that weather stripping locked into place back behind here. And what I would like to do, or what I do like to do, is come up here and you can kind of feel the same thing but get that popped into place right there that way it's not trying to fall back apart on you and then I just start working my way down getting everything popped into place sometimes it can be a little bit tedious especially if you're uh, retaining piece is a little bit uh, bent up like ours is but just start pushing in that retain the, the weather stripping on each end. And then, once you get this done, this little project is a wrap.
All right, guys, so we've got our chrome moldings and our weather stripping installed on our upper doors. And I'm going to say we've got more done to this car in the last two weeks than we have in the last year. I think it's about time this car makes a comeback. And uh, right now, it runs, it smokes. Just say you don't catch a mosquito around when it's when it's running. But um, options, more options, and uh, even more options. So who knows? But for now, we got to get this car put back together. There'll be more to come. So stay tuned. If you enjoy what you're watching, please consider subscribing. I greatly appreciate it. Leave a like. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know what the next steps for this car are potentially. So. I'm going to end it off here, guys. I appreciate every, every one of you. And uh, until next time, have a good night, guys.